I think we can all use a reminder sometimes about basic common sense things. And with that in mind, I'm going to talk about five basic common sense tips that you can use to help save money when buying home theater equipment. And make sure you stay through till the end of the video to get the most value. So stay tuned. So I know these five tips I'm gonna talk about are very basic, they're very common sense, nothing groundbreaking, earth shattering, nothing like that. But I do think it's a good idea sometimes to remind people about just these little basic common sense things that I think we sometimes will overlook because we'll get in our own heads about what we wanna do. So with that, let's get right on to this list of five common sense tips to help save you some money on your home theater purchases. Number one, know your budget. So the number one tip I can give people is know your budget. I admittedly probably spend more money than I should from time to time here in my home theater. So if you're looking to start a home theater or you're looking to upgrade something in your home theater, know your budget. You know, just have a rough estimate of how much money you can spend on a particular item or on the project as a whole before you go out and start buying stuff. This is gonna range from person to person. Some people are gonna have more money that they can spend on this hobby. Some people are gonna have less money that they can spend on this hobby. It's just the way the world works. No one's gonna be the same. You don't want to go into a really bad financial situation just because you wanted a specific item or wanted a specific thing for your home theater. You know, you got to live within your means. Unfortunately, this is not a necessity. Home theater is a hobby, you know, that a lot of people can do. You just have varying levels of financial ability to do it. And honestly, there's really no use in putting yourself in a bad financial situation just because you wanted to buy a specific item for your home theater. You know, you might be able to get that item or something similar down the road. It's better to really know your budget and try and live within that budget, at least when you start out, and then you can upgrade down the road. So my number one tip uh, to really pass along because I've fallen victim to this myself, stay within your budget. Know your budget and try and stay within your budget uh, for your home theater and what you can buy. Number two, buy used items. Now, if you've been a fan of my channel or you've watched any of my content, I beat this drum quite a bit. It's kind of the whole point of this channel, and that is buying used items. Uh, used items are generally gonna give you a better deal than new items. Now that's not to say you can't find new items uh, at a deal, you know, on sale, on clearance or whatever, but generally speaking, used items will net you a better deal. And that's not to say you have to go and buy extremely old technology, even though that's kind of what I do. You can just buy used items of newer items that you're wanting to buy and usually get them at a better deal at their use price. So you're definitely gonna find some better deals and still get some good high quality equipment if you search out on the used market. So don't be afraid to do that. Definitely look to buy used items where you can because that could save you some money in the long run. Number three, be patient. So I fall victim to this one quite a bit myself and that's being patient. I will be impatient sometimes. If I really set my mind and heart to want to get something because I see something in a YouTube video, I see something on a forum, I see something used on eBay that I think is really cool or on Shop Goodwill, I will sometimes impulsively put bids or buy these items and I don't really need it or it's just extra items that are going to clutter up space here and then I end up having to sell an item I already have or I end up selling that item I buy. So I fall victim to this quite a bit, but try and be patient. And this being patient doesn't just fall to a specific item. You know, if you see a Blu-ray player, a set of speakers, a projector, whatever, but it also goes for the entire home theater journey because that's what it is. It's a journey. Don't get too caught up in that you have to have this right now, right at the start. You know, home theater will build and grow over time, you know, and just follow the journey and see what's there because 
you might find a better deal. You might also find that your tastes are different than where they were initially. I mean, that's happened with me with projectors and speakers and different things. I've kind of learned that my tastes have adjusted over all these years to where I kind of know what I like now. And if I would have gone out of my way and just dumped a whole bunch of money and been completely impatient right at the beginning, I probably would have been saddled with stuff that I didn't really want down the road. So just be patient, you know, and that goes for specific items, but also the journey. Be patient. Things are going to kind of come up in time and your home theater is going to grow. So don't try and shoehorn everything in immediately. Just be patient and enjoy the ride and enjoy what you're doing. Number four, 1080p over 4K. Now, this is going to be somewhat controversial, I think, to some people. Now, I know 1080p is not kind of the standard anymore. SDR is not really the standard anymore. Home theater has really changed gears into 4K, HDR, you know, all this sort of stuff. And if you have the money and you have the means to go out and buy something like that, go ahead and do it. You know, I, I don't hold that against anyone for wanting to do that. If you have a high quality 1080p source, so a really good Blu-ray and Blu-ray player combo, uh, good receiver that scales things really well, and a really good high quality 1080p projector on a big screen when you get 100 inches, 110, 120, 130 or bigger, depending on your space, you would really be surprised how good the image looks compared to what a 4K image would look like. Again, your resolution is definitely gonna be different. HDR versus SDR is gonna be different. But you would really be surprised when you get to a large screen format here in your home theater, how good a 1080p image can look. And so, especially if you're starting out and you don't have a lot of money to throw at something like this, I would definitely look at 1080p over 4K, at least to begin with. And even for someone like me, Yes, it would be nice to have 4K, and yes, it'd be nice to have the greatest quality item I can get here, but really, in my room, in my situation, 1080p looks really good. I would definitely say a good tip to save some money early on is gonna be look at 1080p, because those items are gonna be a lot cheaper and have a lot better value uh, right now versus 4K items. So definitely look at 1080p over 4K if you're wanting to save some money, especially if you're starting out. Number five, use your best offer. Much like all these other tips, this one is common sense and I've touched on this before, but this is more exclusive to buying used items, uh, more specifically on like eBay or Mercari or even on Facebook Marketplace. But use your best offer. Go and send an offer to people that have that option available on their items. You know, always send an offer in because if they accept it, great, you got it for that price. If they turn it down and decline your offer, you can always send a new offer or ultimately you could still buy it for the price they have it listed. You know, the worst thing they can tell you is no, that they don't want to accept the offer. But you would be really surprised how many people will accept the best offer. And sometimes you can get a really good deal. I mean, I've done this a couple times where I've put in a really low ball best offer on some items that have been listed on eBay or Mercari or Facebook for like months and months and months and months. And the sellers just accept it because they want to get rid of the item. For me, use the best offer because a lot of sellers will take you up on a best offer or shoot you a counter offer and you'll still save a little bit of money. And it may not be drastic, but those five, 10, $15 savings will add up over time as you buy different components and different pieces of your home theater. So definitely use your best offer. There's my five basic common sense tips for saving some money on home theater equipment. Uh, again, I don't think this is anything crazy. This is nothing out of this world, nothing spectacular. It's very basic, very common sense stuff. But sometimes I think people need to hear that because I think we get caught up in our own heads about what we want to do. And we sometimes lose track of just the very basic common sense uh, tips and topics. By the way, I am wearing my secondhand home theater t-shirt, which will be linked below in my store. Uh, I haven't worn this a whole lot, but you know, I'm gonna try and wear my merch and get more plugs in here for that stuff. For those of you interested, since we're coming into the holiday season here soon, and what better way to show a loved one that you really do love them than to buy them some secondhand home theater merchandise? Yeah? No? 
<laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, so I just want to say thanks to everyone who's watched my content. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video here on Secondhand Home Theater.